Now, in this lecture, I will talk about the most fundamental structure of matter. An atom is the basic building block of chemistry. It is the smallest unit into which matter can be divided without the release of electricity, charge, and uh, particles. It also is the smallest unit of matter that has uh, the characteristic properties of a chemical element. The atom is the most basic structure of matter, and the components of the atom are particles of matter. There are different uh, types of atoms called chemical elements. The first uh, chemical element is hydrogen, which consists of uh, a proton found in the nucleus uh, and an, ele an electron that rotates around the nucleus. Then we have the helium atom, which consists of uh, two protons and uh, two neutrons in the nucleus of the atom, and uh, two electrons orbiting uh, the nucleus. The carbon atom contains uh, six protons and six neutrons in the nucleus and six uh, electrons, two of which orbit close to the nucleus, and the other uh, four electrons orbit farther away from the nucleus. Uh, what is the molecule? A group of atoms connected by a chemical bond is called molecule. Uh, for example, the water uh, molecule is H2O, consists of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. The chemical formula of water is H2O. Another example of uh, molecule is carbon dioxide, CO2 in chemical spelling, is uh, a gas at the room temperature. Each molecule of CO2 consists of carbon atom, and the two oxygen atoms linked uh, to it by a double covalent bond. Uh, pure carbon occurs in two common forms in nature, diamond and uh, graphite. Okay, so what is uh, elementary particle. An elementary particle is a particle that is not composed of other particles. Okay? Particle physics describes how the other particles are composed of elementary particles. For example, the atom is made uh, is made up of smaller particles that are the that is the electrons and the protons and the neutrons okay and the, the protons and neutrons in turn are made up of more elementary particles known as quarks the study of elementary particles is another uh, step in man's efforts to understand the structure of matter. It is estimated that there are fewer than 10 to the power of 
87 individual elementary particles in the visible universe. Today, 17 elementary particles are known, and another corresponding antiparticle for each of them. Okay, so we have uh, 17 elementary particles, and also we have 17 elementary antiparticles. Okay? Uh, of these uh, two quarks and the electron make up the matter that surrounds us every day. So, uh, we have actually six, six quarks and uh, six leptons and uh, also uh, six uh, uh, four bosons and uh, the X boson the boson X okay that four uh, uh, particles is the fourth particles uh, that mediate the fundamental forces in nature. Besides gravity, which is not currently described by particles, but uh, we assume that is uh, uh, an elementary particle that is called the graviton, that uh, carries the gravitational force. And for that reason, every two uh, objects with mass in the universe attracted to each other because of that uh, particle that calls uh, that is called graviton that is not uh, discovered yet, but the scientists assume that uh, this uh, particle actually exists. On March uh, 14th, uh, 2013, the physicists uh, at the particle accelerator in Switzerland announced that they are largely convinced that the particle they discovered is indeed the X boson. Okay. Experiment actually, the one that uh, uh, revealed the uh, is Buzon, actually, is the family name is uh, uh, X, and he was uh, awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics, uh, I think it was uh, in the 2012. Okay, experiments in particle uh, accelerators are focused on finding an answer to the question which uh, still remains open. Do more elementary particles exist or does the standard model provide the final answer to the most basic structure of matter? Okay, so there are 17 elementary particles, as you can see, there are six quarks, uh, uh, six uh, quarks, uh, six uh, leptons, and uh, uh, four uh, bosons that carry the for the, that are the force particle and uh, the X boson that uh, is responsible for the mass in the sub uh, particles. Actually, that is the the particle that gives mass to the matter. The X uh, boson that discovered in 2012. 
ok so there are in total there are 17 6 and 6 and 5 uh, there are 17 uh, elementary particles which includes uh, the six quarks, okay, uh, six uh, leptons, and uh, five bosons. There is four bosons that carries that are the force particles, and uh, the X boson that actually responsible for the mass in the uh, particles okay so what is quark we have six types of quarks uh, quark is one of the elementary particles the most basic building blocks of matter known today in physics okay and uh, what is the leptons? This, there are six leptons, yes? As you can see, uh, a lepton or leptons are a group of elementary particles with a half integer spin. All of uh, one of them, uh, each one of them has half spin, uh, half integer spin. Uh, that is to say, uh, fermions. Okay, so all the those twelve uh, particles are fermions, which don't react to the strong force. The strong force is the uh, elementary force that uh, binds together the protons in the nucleus of the atom, and uh, uh, the fermions uh, don't. Uh, react to that strong force. In the sorting sort of uh, particles, leptons form a group corresponding to the group of quarks. So we have here in green six uh, uh, leptons that correspond to the six quarks that we have here. So, what is a boson? Boson, that are the bosons. Boson or bosons are force carrying particles whose spin is an integer. Okay, the spin of uh, the gluon is one, the spin of the uh, photon is one, the spin of uh, boson Z and W is one, and also, uh, so uh, the spin of them is one, and the spin of the uh, X boson is zero. Okay, so uh, actually, the, those these four bosons. Uh, particles carry the uh, are force particles. Okay, these uh, particles may be elementary particles like here, or composed of other sub particles. Okay. These uh, particles often allow the transfer of force between fermions, these uh, 12 fermions. So they allow the transfer of force between the fermions, which are particles of matter. So th those all uh, 12 uh, uh, particles uh, are particles of matter. Okay, and those, uh, and those uh, uh, four particles are particles or force particles. Okay, and the, the boson X is responsible for the mass 
in, in the particles or in the matter. That is what creates the mass in the uh, particles. According to quantum field theory and the standard model, the four fundamental forces in nature uh, are the strong uh, nuclear force that binds together the protons in the nucleus of the atom, and uh, actually uh, this is the gluon that carries that force, the strong force. The weak nuclear force uh, that actually responsible for the radioactive decay of atoms. The two particles that carry the weak force are boson Z and boson W. And uh, the electromagnetic force uh, that is uh, uh, actually carried by the photon. Uh, and uh, the electromagnetic uh, force uh, explains how charged particles interact uh, with each other. Okay, and uh, the fourth fundamental force is the gravitational force that we don't have in the, uh, that standard model. Okay, uh, so those four uh, fundamental forces are carried by four families of gauge uh, bosons, which are uh, 13 elementary subatomic particles. So in total here, if we include also the graviton, we have 13 uh, pa subatomic particles because the gluon actually has, we have eight types of gluon and one proton. In total is uh, nine and uh, boson uh, we have one and uh, boson Z and boson W we have two types so we have nine plus three is twelve and uh, the thirteenth uh, particle that is not discovered yet is the graviton that carries the gravitational force for that reason, every two uh, objects with mass in the universe are attracted to each other because of the uh, graviton, who carries the gravitational force. Okay, so what is the uh, uh, photons? The, the, the photon have spin uh, uh, one carry the electromagnetic force. Uh, as I already said, uh, it explains how charged particles interact with each other. That is the electromagnetic force. And then we have a uh, gluon as spin one carries the strong force that binds the protons together in the nucleus of the atom. Okay, but we have eight types of gluons. Okay, and then we have uh, W and Z bosons have spin one carry the weak force that is uh, responsible for the radioactive decay of atoms. Okay, and, uh, okay. 
and there are two types of uh, uh, W, two types of subatomic uh, particles of W, and one type of Z. Particle. Okay, and uh, the hypothesized uh, gravi uh, graviton as spin 2 carries the force of gravity. Okay, the 13th subatomic particle is the graviton that is not discovered yet, as I've already said, and uh, that particle carries the, the force of gravity. Okay. According to the standard model, there is also uh, a X boson. Uh, as I already said, uh, it is uh, responsible for the mass in the subatomic particle. So uh, that is to say, it gives uh, mass to the to the matter. That particles is responsible for the mass. Uh, on, the, uh, on the matter, which has spin uh, zero and determines the valence of the other particles. The field and the particle provide a confirmable hypothesis for the origin of mass in the elementary particles. As I already said, that uh, subatomic particles is responsible for the mass in the elementary particles, okay? All the uh, elementary particles are with uh, mass. You can see it, it is uh, in small numbers. The first uh, number in every square is the mass of the particle. So, boson X is responsible for the mass in the subatomic particles. You can see in every square the first row is the mass of the particle. Okay? And as you can see here, it is in small letters, but you can see that all the subatomic particles have mass, except for the uh, photon itself that is, uh, doesn't have the mass, or, or doesn't have uh, mass, uh, rest mass. The photon doesn't have rest mass, uh, but uh, when uh, the photon uh, is in motion, uh, uh, it travels uh, with a speed uh, of light uh, and that is uh, 300,000 kilometers per second, then uh, it does have mass, but when the photon is in rest, it is no mass, with zero mass. So all the particles except for the, all the subatomic particles except for the photon has mass and the a particle that uh, responsible for the mass for the subatomic particles is the boson X. Okay, the existence of the X boson stood as a hypothesis for several years, but in July uh, 2012 it was announced as part of the experiment conducted in Switzerland. Uh, that the, there was 99.99995% uh, certainty of its uh, existence. Okay, thank you very much.